Well, hello everybody, I'm back and I'm going to be answering a couple of people's questions regarding to selling Minecraft plugins. This is actually one of my favorite topics. For about a year, I was actually living off of just Minecraft plugins. I do not recommend that, it's a bit crazy. If you live in a cheaper country, if you live in uh, Eastern Europe or Asia, I think you can totally do it even today. So without any further ado, let me just crack right into it. Someone asked how and where to actually publish a plugin. So my friend, I only recommend sticking to two sites, and the reason being is complexity. You know, I tried Songoda, I tried Polymart, I've tried one other site, I can't forget, I forgot what that was, but we've been everywhere. You know, we've had the accounts all over the internet, and it was just way too heavy, and then basically you'll notice that 80% of the, the sales are coming from one site, which ha happened to be Spigot MC, and then when we migrated, it happened to be built by bit. So, Actually, don't bother with playstring over the entirety of the internet. All we do nowadays, we just post on build by bit and that has worked uh, phenomenally well. I would honestly start if you have an account and if you want to do it, sell on Spigot MC. I know that they are a little bit more strict with these requirements. You need to have, I believe, two months old account. You need to have a couple of, you know, positive ratings on the site as well as made a, made a couple of value posts. Guys, this is easier than it sounds. All we're gonna do, is go into resources and then basically you need to have at least three free plugins right so what i would do i would just search for the submission date and i would go for the oldest plugin that everybody forgotten all right there we go so here we have plugins that are six years old right and i would take the simplest simple plugin from here i would just look at the source code and then i assume of course that you know how to code minecraft plugins if you do not i have a course uh, that is called project orient you can check it out i leave the link in the video description and i also have a couple of free video tutorials on how to get started so i would just pick pick three very simple basic plugins that are super old they've been for forgotten look at their source code and then just model just inspire do not copy don't be a dick but just copy uh just inspire yourself from them and just write them and honestly these plugins can probably take you one afternoon each so you'll be looking at three days of work you'll just publish them on Spigot and there you have it you've blasted through the three plugins uh, requirements also when it comes to posting when it comes to getting reputation and getting you know posts all I would do I would go to the forums right here and they have a plugin uh, development section which is right here, Spigot Plugin Development. Every single day, set an alarm for 10 minutes, go down here and just answer people's questions. Honestly, you are going to be surprised how far, uh, how fast you're going to reach uh, the requirements. And also, obviously, if you're not, not a complete troll, people are going to give you a positive rating if you're gonna answer their questions. Honestly, this thing can take you a week to two weeks max, and then you can publish your free plugin. So Spigot MC uh, is an option still, although it's a little bit dated, I would still recommend selling there if you have an account. Otherwise, I would just go with build by bit. Honestly, we've had so much better experience of the process is way more streamlined. And also it's pretty cool because they have so much more features when it comes to actually selling plugins. So right now we're using their TBEX gateway integration instead of PayPal. Uh, they have this system where it's extremely easy to, to set up. So don't worry about you know any complicated setup. And then here, so you can basically have a renewal, right? So you can charge annual fees or, or annual or monthly fees. And then here's a really cool thing that I've seen about 20% people actually uptake. You can have paid add-ons, right? So for chat control, we actually sell, you know, a couple of extra death messages or advanced uh, filters. And you can see like there is almost, uh, there's over 40 people who've purchased it. And I think we only started to do it about a month or two months ago. So it's pretty new. And you can see that, you know, we actually got quite quite some people uh, to enroll in these paid add-ons. So it's a nice bonus feature you can have. Another thing why I recommend Build by Bid is that they have a fantastic end manager right here. Let me just go to advertising. You can see I've spent, you know, a couple of thousand dollars on ads, probably close to $10,000 running on a Build by Bid, which is not nothing. And I've, se I've seen significant results from it. So spent about $700 dollars uh, complete in total for just marketing chat control and i can confidently, confidently say that the returns have been at least uh, five times that so basically you can just pay to have your plugin display in the resources section on top of it it only costs 15 bucks uh, per week if you want to be on the top let me actually see the auction no you can actually get there for just five bucks nowadays yeah 
because the auction displays the, the, the top six bidders. So if you outbid these people for 550, you're going to be in the auction. So that's how it works. A bit confusing to, to get your handle on at the beginning, but, but they do a really good job at explaining everything. So basically 550 bucks uh, per week, that means a little over, you know, twenty dollars for the entire month, and uh, if you're selling your plugin for, you know, ten bucks, that only means two sales, and you're already making a profit. And believe me, way more people are going to see that resource once it is advertised. You cannot do this on Spigot. So hopefully that was helpful. That is that answered the question were and also how should I do open source? Should I do free? Should I do paid? Well, my friend, what you should do. You should learn how to code, okay? That, that is the fundamental thing. If you do not deliver a good product, you're not gonna get any sales. Actually, speaking of good products, I made my plugin chat control back in 2012. Let me actually Google this. So this is my plugin chat control, the one that has the most downloads. Believe me, the first generation, the second, and definitely the third, they all sucked. They were not pretty good. And I was not getting a lot of downloads. All of these downloads started to pour in when I actually introduced, you know, a couple of like actually problem solving features. I think with, with the version four or even five. And that did not happen later than perhaps a year after so again just make sure to have a profound or at least solid understanding of java and uh, bucket api if you need any help check the link in the description we have a full course on how to do that also i would recommend just going open source and just going uh, free at the beginning reason being you can get more attention right and especially on these forums like spigot that do not allow advertising on build by bit you can just hack it you can just pay for the banner to display your plugin prominently but if you want to build yourself up on spigot definitely go uh, free first make sure to get at least a couple thousand downloads you know solve a problem for people get a dozen of good reviews you know and then you can dm these people and say hey by the way how would you like a, like an enchanted version of a plugin i kept thinking about it and then you can just have a back and forth. Just speak with the customers, just speak with like the initial people that download it, get their feedback, and then you can make, you know, a pro, a premium edition. I've actually applied this concept. So when I had over 300, 400,000 downloads, I said, okay, I'm just gonna make Chat Control Pro. And that actually became uh, one of the most downloaded plugins on uh, Spigot MC. And in fact, we're still hitting the first page on both Spigot MC and build by bit, if I'm not mistaken, even though I haven't updated it in ages on Spigot MC because we're not active there. Anyways, so this is it. This is how I would do it. I would start by building yourself up, building your reputation a little bit, getting attention, getting traction, then speaking with your customers and figuring out um, what are they happiest about, figuring out what are they least happy about, most, most upset, fixing all these issues in the pro premium version. And yeah, don't expect mere calls. I began selling in 2015 and I wasn't able to really become an independent developer about 18 months later. So, you know, I would not really expect you to take that long. That's why I actually have uh, a full week in Project Orion that deals with sales and cash flow mastery. We got about seven hours on how, just how to sell and publish amazing plugins. And you can see these videos are actually quite um, in depth. I go over a lot of good stuff. This, this video has, for example, 43 minutes, and you're also gonna get a full uh, how to write a converting sales letter, so how to design the sales page. You're gonna get a lot of really juicy examples right here, and even like the structure. So what to put, you know, on each, um, on each of the section of the sales letter. So for example, my plugin boss has an image like that that works as a sales letter, right? And I'm gonna teach you all this section. Obviously, you can just have a look at balls uh, for free and you can try to model these sections for you. We've seen uh, we've seen the most results having something like that. So anyways, I hope that answers your question. Pop more of them in the video description. I'll be more than happy to answer. And without any further ado, I guess that's it. I'm going to jump on recording another video because we got so many great suggestions from you guys. Anyways, wish you a happy and a great day. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.